G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going again with my cloud paw. I was really happy with that last one that I did. Here it is. It's really pretty. And I found a canvas that was previously scraped. So I'm going to go again. Oops, on a slightly bigger one. Um, and see how I go. Just grab my cup. Shut the door. Forgot to shut the door. Okay. Uh, same mix as before. If you missed my last video, I'll go through real quick. But if you want to see it step by step, um, watch the previous video on the cloud pour. Uh, this one, I have got 50-50 of these two. Um, slightly different to the last one. So um, equal parts of Artist Flow white acrylic. If you don't have this one, just use Liquitex. It's fine, but you will have to mix it um, three to one instead of one to one. So equal parts of those two with Floetrol. And then my Liquitex Basics, I have got three parts Floetrol to one part Liquitex Basics. Um, this one here is blue with a touch of phthalo green. Uh, this plain blue here is just the phthalo blue. The red here is cadmium deep red hue. The yellow is cadmium yellow light hue. I've got a tiny little bit of orange left just from the previous pour. Um, yeah, I think the orange really took over, so I've, I'll just throw a tiny bit of that in just to use it up. So there you go. Those are my colours. Um, and the previous one, I got a lot of white in the centre. So I'm going to see if I can cut back on the white a little bit. I'm going to put some blue in first. This is the turquoise blue. Put a lot of that in there. Because this white, it's so reactive. And it's a little bit thinner too than the other paint, so it kind of takes over. So let's put some of that in there. Um, and then I want like a pinky hue. A little bit of pinky here in the middle so a little bit of the red and a little bit of the the yellow the yellow kind of got lost last time um, some more white and I'll go with this bright blue and a lot of that mm, a little bit of red I just don't want the yellow and the blue touching, obviously. Um, a little bit of white, some turquoise blue, mm. a bit of that blue, I guess. A little bit more white, a bit more yellow. Oh, look, I'm going to be touching the um, the white to the blue now, uh, the yellow to the blue. It doesn't matter. Let's just pop that there. I've got a little bit of paint left over. Haven't used as much white this time. I've got a lot of paint left over, actually. <laughs> See how we go. I don't know. I still don't know whether I'm making my layers too big. Maybe I should have less layers, but then the white kind of takes over if you have if you bake your layers too thin, the white kind of takes over and then it really dulls them down. You end up with a pastel painting. Let me see if I can sort of do a bit of this. I don't want to get too far, like too high up because then the paints blend too much on the way down. as if I'm going to have the nice blue in the middle that I'm really wanting. So slightly bigger circles in this one. We'll see if that helps. Oops, a little dribble in the middle there. Let's fix it up quickly. Fix it while it's small and it's still fixable before it gets too big. Okay, how's that looking? 
See, now there's heaps of yellow in there. <laughs> I can't win. Oh, I forgot my orange. Never mind. See, the red and the yellow are going to make orange anyway. That's why I thought oh, I won't put orange in this time. Because last time I had so much um, orange and it kind of took over. But now it looks as if the yellow is taking over. What can you do? Okay? What can you do? Now, um, I think what I'll do is I'm going to just add these two bluey tones together and give it a splash of water just to thin it down a touch. Um, no, I won't actually. I'll just give it a mix. I'm going to just pop some around the outside and then I'm going to put some white on on the edges. That can go there. And that can go there. Look, that's a pretty good mix, isn't it? Pretty good colour combination there. Because I always seem to lose my blue. I've got my husband's birthday cake in the oven. So I better not be too long and forget about it. We're having his birthday dinner tonight. So I made that. It's a chocolate chiffon cake. And I'll put a hazelnut frosting on. No, with Nutella. And um, Ferrero Rocher's around. <laughs> decoration so that's what I've been up to I did do the cloud pour I really wanted to pour some more and I thought no nah, I have to stop I'm gonna go and make the cake but it's in the oven now so I thought I'll come and do a quick pour I don't know if I want so much white on the corners I really want some dark blue I don't think I've got enough dark blue. Even though I had two cups of blue. We'll see how we go. That'll do. That will do. All right. It's still looking very white in the middle and it's too yellow. So you can't win. Last time it was too... Um, go around in a big circle. Last time it was too orange. Now it's looking as if it's too yellow. And of course the yellow and the blue are going to make green. Now what I want to do is kind of stretch it that way. If I can. That's what I want to try and do. Have it sort of orientated to the corners. I haven't got any blue left. I would have liked some blue on that corner. That would have been pretty. Oh, blue's underneath. All right, stretch it out to this corner. Losing my blue. Paint's all rolling over the top of it. Okay. Back to the middle. Hopefully as it stretches out, um, more blue will pop through with any luck. Turn that around now so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to tilt everything back again. Still not loving it. Still got too much red in it now. Actually, I wonder if I don't have enough paint on this. I might not have enough paint. See how everything's stretching out? I don't think I've got enough. So my first one is the best out of all of them, I think. That little one that I just showed you before I started. Okay. I'm 
just gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna leave it too, have it too matchy matchy. Um, I'm not gonna torch. I find that the torching just sort of pops bubbles um, and then I end up with these little tiny pit holes. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna leave it like that and let it develop, see what it wants to do. Um, yeah, it's it's okay. I still wish. I think what I did wrong is I have I've lost the white in the middle. Like, you know, this this one here, it's got a lot of white in the middle, and I think that's what kind of makes it look more cloud like. And in this one, I was trying not to get too much white in the middle, and I think I've gone the opposite way and not enough white. And I also don't think I've got enough paint. You know how everything's really stretched out of shape there. Um, again, I don't think I've got enough blue. The yellow and the red really took over. But I'm going to leave it like that for a few minutes, let it develop and see what it wants to do. Um, it kind of looks like a bit of a, I don't know, I don't think it's really cloud-like. Let me check my corners, my edges. Needs a bit there. And we'll just wait a few minutes and see if it wants to do anything else. It's just trial and error, really, when it comes to this. You know, when you're doing a new technique, you end up having to do it quite a few times. But you learn every time that you do it. So I think I need more white, more paint, full stop, because I've overstretched my, my rings. Um, yeah, I certainly have got the sunset look, haven't I? Got those colours. So that's okay. I'm glad I didn't put the orange in, actually, because the red and the yellow have made orange anyway. Um, got a bit of green happening where the yellow and the blue was were touching. And again, I think if I'd had more paint, I wouldn't have to stretch it so much. So what do you think? Do you like that one? I still prefer the little one. I think it really needs that white, more white in the center. Mm. Okay. Um, well, I think this canvas is going to get scraped again. And uh, we'll do another one. And uh, sit with more white and more paint. So there we go. More white, more paint. Because I only used more. Oh, no. I've still got some white left, and I even put quite a lot on the edges too. We'll see how that develops. I don't think it's going to change a lot more. They tend not to change too much. But yeah, I haven't got that cloudy effect in the middle. Just not enough white. Kind of looks a bit like a um, a storm brewing, doesn't it? With those colours in there. They are sunset colours, that's for sure. Just looks more storm-like than, than clouds. Okay, guys. So I just finished this uh, cloud pour. Looks more like a storm brewing, really. I thought I'd take you out and show you a couple of my pieces that are drying. That's the metallic pearl that I've given a coat of gloss to. So it's beautiful and shimmery and shiny. Hopefully that's picking that up. Bring it over here in front of the window. So that's it there. It's got a beautiful shimmer and shine to it. And then I'm going to go out of the studio and I'm going to go through here. Oh, look, there's some, there's some paintings on the wall. Now, these two were my birthday pours. The top one was the first birthday pour I did, so it's pretty much dry now. And then the bottom one there, that's the second birthday pour that I did. And I thought I would come around and show you these two here. 
Now these were the two um, barrier reef ones. Coral. Now those barrier reef um, coral sort of paws that I did. That's them there. There's a puppy. <laughs> so that's them there. Drying beautifully. This one had a slightly thinner mix so the cells are a little bit bigger. Still really pretty. And then that one there, it's a matching one. Mix was a little bit thicker so the cells are a little bit smaller. But uh, yeah, really pretty, hey. I've got to go and check on the cake. Come with me. Let's go and check on the cake. This is Hubby's birthday cake. Oh. Oops, it's risen nicely. Look you guys, I just got it out of the oven. Mm -mm -mm. It's risen beautifully. Gorgeous. It was a little hole I made <laughs> just to check if it was done. So, yeah. Good, good, good. Um, there's my little icing ingredients there. I should do another video for you on baking, shouldn't I? <laughs> One day. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty decent size cake. It's risen well over the, the top there. So I'll slice that in half. Put some frosting through the center. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here's my little mixer ready to go for the frosting and I showed you those well there's my little beaded animals that I got from South Africa aren't they gorgeous you can only see one the other one's hiding behind my paintings yeah beautiful sunny day today out there through the screen all right I'll let you guys go I'll uh, I'll see you next time bye